the peppered moths of England are a prime example of microevolution. Here's what happened. Peppered moths are normally white with black spots all over its wings, hence its name, the peppered moths. But additionally, there's a naturally occurring genetic mutation that causes some moths to have black wings instead of white wings with black spots. And so here's the catch. These peppered moths often land on lichen, which is like a white fungus that grows on trees. And these white peppered moths can camouflage well on the lichen because it's white. However, the black peppered moths cannot camouflage well on the lichen because, well, black stands out on white. And this means that they are more likely to be eaten by birds and other predators. And as a result, fewer black forms survive and their population is lower. So within the population of peppered moths, the majority are white with black spots, while a few are just completely black. However, in the 19th century, industrialization had taken over and the use of burning coal had caused great amounts of pollution, which killed off the lichen and blackened the tree trunks. So now, the white form of peppered moths were more obvious to predators, while the black form of the peppered moths were less obvious to predators. Against black pollution-covered tree trunks in England, black moths could actually blend in better. As generations passed, the moths adapted to the changed habitat and black moths began to outnumber the white moths. Now, it was more common for a peppered moth to be born with black wings so it would live longer. And this is microevolution, which are small changes within a kind. And the moth's tendency to reproduce as white with black spots changed to reproduce with fully black wings. And by, 19, by 1895, about 98% of peppered moths were completely black. And from that, we realized that, you know, there's, there's a pollution problem. And so in the mid-20th century, controls were introduced to reduce air pollution. And as the air quality improved, lichen growth increased uh, proportionally. And now white peppered moths could camouflage while the black moths were more noticeable, like before. As pollution decreased, the peppered moth population reversed back into its original state and now white peppered moths dominate the population of peppered moths and so we see that natural selection can work in both directions favoring the moth that is best suited to the environmental conditions